Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Final Fantasy 16. Uh, yeah, Benedicta just went freaking uh, beast mode, quite literally, and uh, either turned into Garuda or summoned Garuda. Not entirely sure, but we're gonna find out. Got me an item here. Oh, a gill bug. Very windy. How much of this? Oh my goodness, there's items all the way over there? Hold up. Oh no, we can't cross this. Wait a minute. Oh, whoa. Is this can this connects? Hold up. These maps are actually connected? That's awesome. If that's true, and it go uh, it goes like all the way up here. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So that's cool. That means all of the- oh my god, look, I can see items way over there! That's all playable terrain, eventually? That's amazing. Okay. This game just got much, much larger. Hey there. Oh. My wounds, boy. Yes, we did the thing. We need to find potions, though. Potion? Nope, two gill. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't get the trigger off that time. Trying to maybe uh, mooch a little healing off of Torgal. Because we can only use Torgal's heal ability when we're in combat. But uh, I don't know. It's so, like, insignificant that I don't know that it really helps. I could pop a high potion right now, which would probably bring me back to full health. But I only have two. We need, like, a tent. Alright, let's take out, like, one more of these. I'm hoping that these would, like, drop potions, but they seem to only want to drop crafting materials. My 
Yeah, that doesn't help that I keep getting smacked around. Yeah, see, these are just dropping clouded eyes. But, I mean, one of these... One of these items in this field has to be... A uh, freaking potion, right? Okay. I thought she was staggered there when she actually wasn't fully staggered yet. There. Even the high potion did bring us back to full health. Alright, what do we have here? Just crafting materials again. I think we just need to keep pressing forward and hope for the best. Oh, are these guys just spawning? Like, constantly? Kill bug. There we go. I'm not going to use it just yet. He's in there. I know it. Interesting. So that map takes up like this whole area of the world map. Oh, I see. All the way down to here, actually. That's very interesting. I did not expect it to work like that. Hmm. Okay. The Eye of the Tempest, here we go. I th Five. Was that the dominant? The man who killed my brother? Are you absolutely certain? I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. Watched as the flames of his eye contact, Joshua. Ow! Damn. Dead? I'm here, and so's Togo. Don't worry about us. Be waiting for this. Go! Sit! Of course. Forgive me. So this this has to be Joshua, right? Oh, that was cool. Dude, this is... I'm getting goosebumps. 
Oh shit! Dude, this is cinematic as fuck. Oh, the music. <laughs> oh, man. This fucking music! Hold on, was that the prelude? I found you. It is, the prelude's real faint in there. Dude, this game's soundtrack is A plus, S tier. This has to be Joshua, right? He's not. He's not a free. We're a free. Clive is a free, and this is like future Joshua. Yeah, because this is thirteen years later, right? So Joshua could be like nineteen, twenty. I don't know how old he was in the beginning. Maybe 21? Oh shit, we're go we're right into this! I thought we were gonna get a cutscene. Get stabbed? Oh my god, the music. I'm gonna say it this whole episode. And the graphics. Jesus Christ! Okay. We have no healing items. That ass, though. Oh my god. Okay, we're fucked. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we're... We're so fucked. Yes, we know about the takedowns. Damn! Let's go! Oh! Oh! Okay, we got the precision dodge there, but I, I didn't counter properly. Ouch! Okay, good, 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 good. Did we kill her? I, I was not even looking at her health. Uh, there's, there's, this is gonna be multiple phases, obviously. I just hope we get healed. Oh, uh, we're not gonna get healed. Am I, am I dodging? I'm okay. Oh, I got nowhere to go! No! 
No, 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 no! I saw that too late. Oh, I gotta jump. Okay, I gotta jump. Dude, how am I supposed to survive this? I've got one HP left. Jump! Oh, shit! We got the deadly takedown! Let's go! No, I didn't jump! I didn't jump! Damn it. Okay, let's retry. Dude, all right, we're doing... We're doing all right. All right, we almost got the phase one. There we go, all right. So I forgot when you get game over, they give you back a bunch of potions. Wait, is this phase one of these? Did we pick up right where we... Okay, I'm not sure where in this fight we are. We're further now than we were before. Dude! We got mash square, yep. Oh, damn! Is that a Talon? Yeah. Dude, look at her face is all... Ugh! What? That was it? I felt like there was more coming than that. Phrasing, sorry. I, I thought there was going to be more to the fight than that. That can't be it. Okay. She's not done. You're nothing. A monster. And I will not let you stand in my way. And this is where it happens.
Yep. This is what we knew. I don't think he can hear you. Dude, this is going to be awesome. I keep looking over to make sure I'm recording. Okay. Embodying Ifrit. Controls for Ifrit are as follows. Melee, ranged, evade. So the controls are basically the same. Circle can be used to charge enemy, covering great distance in a short period of time. Other all abilities available while embodying Ifrit can be confirmed on the abilities tab in the main menu. Wow. Okay. Oh, look at that. Dude. So much damage. Nope, evade. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, I thought I was going to have to evade. I was anticipating an evasion there. I fucked it up. Dude, we're doing like a hundred thousand damage per hit here. Skyfall. This. What is this going to be? Oh my god. Charger, let's go, charge. Oh no, evade, evade, evade. No. That's all right, we're still winning. Ooh, that did way more than I thought it was gonna do. It's all right, let's be aggressive. Let's be aggressive here. Just keep smashing her up. Oh, come on, I evaded that. Dude, this freaking music! No! Get out of here! We're gonna have roast Garuda wings! I don't think so. Dude, Sid has to be watching this in just like in utter amazement. We're like the landscape is going to be forever changed after this fight. Oh, 
Oh fuck, we lost an arm? Well, we already saw she could regrow our talons, so... Dude, the prelude making a, another little return appearance there. Oh, that's sick. Dude. I'm just in, like, utter amazement of this. Yeah, and that's exactly what we did to Phoenix in the beginning of the game. Like, if I'm being totally honest, like, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just watching. It is basically a very, a highly glorified quick time event, but it just looks so fucking good. I don't care. We roasting her alive or what? Burn her wings. Oh yeah, she's on fire now. Hellfire. 197,000 damage. Holy shit, that was epic. All that shit just gonna drop. Yeah. Control it, Clive. It is you, isn't it, Clive? Stop this now. Oh shit, are we gonna have to fight Sid now too? Oh fuck, it's Ramu? Oh yeah, that's Ramu. There's no way we're getting a double boss battle. Guess that wouldn't have been much of a fight anyway, huh? You're too nice is your problem. Bloody mess this. be really cool if we can return to this area like this field later in the game and this all this destruction is still here i really hope we get to see that the ghost you've been chasing was inside you all along 
be damned if I know what that means. Oh shit, is this Benedict, eh? Yep. Why? Why did you have to listen to him? Benner! This can't be what you wanted, can it? Guys, mark this episode. Mark the time. This is how long it took Final Fantasy 16 to get me to tear up. That's some good shit. That piano was fucking beautiful. What the shit? Hello. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, Odin is fucking huge. I guess not Titan huge. Guys. <laughs> what is this game? We have no idea what's actually happening right now. Reform the cohorts. At what? I'm I'm still like in shock of what I'm watching. Spread, even in the holy capital. The capital. What if my father His is here? radiance is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. Dude. This music for like the seventh time this episode. 
It just makes everything that's happening so much more epic. All right, so now we've seen Odin and Bahamut and Ramu and Garuda and Ifri all in this one episode. Yeah, we kind of knew that from the beginning, bro. Ah, you're awake. You're just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> it was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster. And I deserve to die. So end it. End it. <laughs> please. Please. Oof. Um, why is he naked? I reckon I can take you, if that's what you want. But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. <laughs> um, which, by the way, is was. <laughs> I'll uh, see you in the hall. After rewatching some of the earlier episodes, the game was pretty heavily implying that Sid and Gav were a couple, was it not? <laughs> at least at some point. There's the broody anime protagonist we've been missing. All right. I think uh, this episode might actually be a quest lock. There's certain times during the game that side quests will become temporarily unavailable and progress has been made through in, uh, until progress has been made through the main scenario. Interesting. Okay. May as well hear what he has to say. Um, yeah, I think this episode is probably going to end up being a little bit shorter than the rest of them, but this is obviously a really good place to end it. So we're going to wrap this one up here. Uh, let's just real quick check the active time more. What's it going to say? Okay. Nothing that we don't already know. Yeah. None other than himself. Okay. Yep. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. I'm sorry that I didn't do a whole lot of talking during this episode, but I, honestly, I feel like my jaw was on the floor for the majority of it. And um, yeah, the battles you might, you know, if you're if you're watching this series for like just the gameplay, you're probably going to be a little bit disappointed. But uh, because the gameplay is like, let's be honest, it's not groundbreaking. The, the fights are a little, I don't want to say boring. They're fun. Uh, they're not very deep. We'll put it that way. And they do get a little repetitive. But uh, we don't play Final Fantasy games, really, for the gameplay, when you think about it. Uh, it's it's for the story. And, dude, the story, the visuals, and not even the music. I mean, the music, obviously, but just the audio in general. Like, even the foley of, like, the, the swords and them drinking and just everything about the audio design in this game is just fucking perfect. So... I hope you guys agree with me. Let me know in the comments what you think and uh, where you think the story is going to go next. Because now that we've seen Odin and Bahamut, 
I I don't know. We still need to learn about the relationships between the different nations. It seems like the Empire is at war with everybody. It seems like everybody's at war with everybody. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Moby's one here. I'll see you in the next one.